So the interesting thing that I found was before anything, before I start to share with you my thoughts, was that I see that the Promethean um, is now referenced as a political anarchy, liberal, woke, etc., etc., political um, titles that's given to that name, the Promethean, even where they call it the Prometheanism. And I just want to bring some clarity here, very important. This channel, the Promethean, uh, is not political. It is based on metaphysics, and metaphysics uh, is based on a way of observing information, truth, spirituality, and esoteric stuff. And those who know me have known that the information that is on this channel, and if you are new, um, to explore all the videos that are on here so you'll get the understanding of what the Promethean channel is all about. Um, all the parts of the information that are on this channel come from internal works, which is what I, of, what I urge people to do when they visit this channel. Um, and to think for yourself. So the Promethean channel is not political. It is not a, a word that describes a particular movement of any sort. It is not a religion. It is not a cult. It is not a movement. It's nothing. None of those uh, aspects. It is purely individual based, focused on the internal self, the soul, the spirit, and the mind, and the body. However, I would hope that you would want to look after your physical form yourself, whereas I'm wanting to share with you thoughts of my experience as well. This channel was once called Armed Heart, and it has changed to the Promethean because of the change in spiritual growth. And based on that, it is a personalized experience every time whenever I come onto this channel and talk with you. I think everyone in this reality, not I'm not saying, maybe I shouldn't say everyone, but I should say some, or let me rather just say the ones on this channel, you guys. You've been experiencing the changes taking place over many, many years and perhaps centuries in your past lives, you've been in the same place, you've been exploring and, and expanding on your knowledge within the world that you found wild, untamed, sometimes kind, sometimes cruel. So the world was always appearing to be in a dualistic manner. And nature was cruel when floods come, you know, and storms or tsunamis and those type of things. So essentially you're living in, you are living in a world that exists within its own purpose, within its own existence, its own dynamics and its dynamics with regards to you. Sometimes it feels as if you shouldn't be here or you're not noticed at all or you're noticed and you can't escape. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's not really about that. My thoughts are on the process in which we experience um, ourselves while we are operating within a world that is closed. It's a closed system because it is the third version of what there once was once upon a time. Once upon a time, there was a world that was created and it was an open system and there was open communication with the original creator, not the fake ones. And this original world, as I said, was open and there was an open communication between yourselves as creations, as beings of higher consciousness 
of awareness. And it was a choice and a free will to then experience that world, that experience, that world lessons, the spiritual experiences, the journeys. This was the past. And I suppose you could take it back even more to where you are now. You're, you've come in here, into this world, with the thread of awareness that you should be able to experience the thing in the same process, but it's not working out that way. I mean, you're finding out it's not exactly how it used to be. And then you wonder to yourself, you know, when you start to slowly question, why did I come here? You know, what was the purpose for this specific one? When things are like just so weird, I mean, you just walk there and you suddenly trip and you fall. What's the point? What was the point of that? And, you know, you start to discover more things with regards to the world in which we exist within. You start to have dreams and your memories start to come to you. People start mentioning things. You hear a word here or there. And so you start to explore the version, the second version of what you used to know. Now going back to the first original world that there was created, which was the first creation for this, <clears throat> for the dynamics of the species. And it's like when you do a painting first painting is always the most amazing impressive painting when you start to do a second painting of the same nature of the first one it's okay it's okay you can sort of get away with a few cheats here and there and then the third time you do it, the same painting again you really have now perfected the ability to just kind of squash a few details in so it looks like a bigger picture so you don't you can cheat and this is what's happened with this world that we are existing in within within the realm in which this world operates it's a different in the dynamics of how i'm explaining to you and perhaps you already know this and it's not about flat earth round earth box earth whatever you want to call it <clears throat> Circle Earth, etc., etc. I mean, there's so many versions of it these days and aversions of it. Um, you don't know really unless you actually use your willpower within you and you explore it without becoming tangled by it in astral form or in dream time, however you see it. And then you discover all kinds of disturbing things perhaps <clears throat> and so it made me think about you know why is this world closed and with that question I actually went into myself and I did a deeper journey many of you know that I do that and I experienced the deeper journey as one that was of great difficulty because of the way that this world operates within its structures, this third version, or a version of the first one. You see, the day that the first ritual of mass proportions took place, and it's not the world wars or the... Uh, and the, and the, the manipulation after that, it's none of that, I'm not even going to mention the time and the day when it started, when it ticked over to the third version, because there are some of us that have been able to feel it, we felt it when it happened. I know that some of you have. I can just think of who you are <clears throat> when you experienced it and what I felt, and I explored in the same way, the same world, or what I thought was the same world as perhaps a year ago because we are in a new one the third version is the is a much more closed system it's got mechanical things around it it's got 
structures that are hold, that's holding the world into place. Sadly, it's also corrupted the pathways for those who are the dead to leave, to actually go to where they're supposed to go. And the worst, worst thing of all is it reminds me so much of that movie, The Chronicles of Riddick. That movie was made in 2012 or 10 or 11 or something. I don't remember. <clears throat> I didn't actually look to see where worlds were controlled and taken over by this race that was perpetuating their religion over this race. And if you've not seen that movie, then I would advise you to find it and look at it. I'm not perpetuating Hollywood at all. I'm just saying that is an example. That movie was an example of a race to put you all on the same place as where I am of what I found. That there is a race, not like we didn't know either, that is trying to control the world and its resources and its people and in, more importantly its religions and using that to dominate with their purpose and <clears throat> it really is a part of how much or how many percentage of souls are giving themselves up or into that specific religion that bigger religion and in this case it's called it's the new age religion where many original or orthodox religions have changed their belief systems their structures so that they could buy into the hype that people such as barbara marx hubbard as poison toxic arrow um, have spread into this con into the consciousness of people including the pagans the pagans have changed paganism and the original occult they've all changed it's all changed in in ways that are all perpetuating the expected new world order because that was what it was all about the spiritual change not the physical physical is just for decor the physical world with all of its things the changes inside of it have changed in such a way that it's more bright and the the brighter these things are the, the more i'm suspicious of it because you know the original creator doesn't come to you in disco lights it never has however they do they come and they speak and their demons and their and their entities come with bright lights and they remind you of <clears throat> where the you are on the food chain just like those necromongers in that movie did you must fall and submit or submit yourself your soul to them I love the fact that they can just assume that that is what they what most people will do um even now they're still going on with the same pattern the same process but what's interesting is is we are we are seeing their patterns we've always seen their patterns it's not like we've never seen it before nonetheless when i did my internal journey i like I said before in my previous videos, and I'll put the link in on my experience, my my near-death experiences, I had three very prominent ones. Maybe I should just repeat it here. Three very specific ones. The first one took me to all the route to the first realm that was where all near-death experienced people go to to experience the um, presence of <clears throat> some of entities where the entities speak to you and tell you you know they even if you ask who they are they say who do you want me to be 
I mean, that's... <laughs> well, <laughs> if you don't know who you are, then why must I tell you to be something for me? You know? Screw you. In any case, I am, I am defiant of these things. I am rebellious. Those who know me very well, personally, you know it. If you tell me to do things or you try to put me into something, I will I will not be in there. Forces of nature cannot stop me in that way. It's my personality. And then the second NDE that I had <clears throat> was where I actually saw the archetype, uh, you know, the demiurge or the archetype god thing entity and it was aggressive and dominating and tried to make me afraid and of course i didn't be i i just tried to avoid it growing up you know with certain circumstances in your life makes you either stronger or it knocks you any case, I didn't feel that there was a personal know, knowing of that thing. That did, that thing didn't know me personally, because or, or maybe I was just too fast. Because I came straight back. Um, and then the third experience that I had was actually very prominent because that was where I ex went out to the very last part, the last experience, the last world, or the outer realm which some call the void <clears throat> excuse me and the void in itself for me was there was nothing that is not the destination that you must go to is what i'm going to tell you it is not the exact destination it is if you extra if you astral travel or or leave out of your body into that world then you can do this but my concern is for when you travel uh, that way that you will find the walls of the system of the studio in where the Truman show was was featured in there's another movie drop just because I drop movies titles does not mean that I'm a movie buff or that I'm living in the Hollywood studios. Does not mean that at all. I'm using it as examples. Because I'm trying to explain a point. My point is that just because the world is behaving a certain way and, and scholars present books to teach people spirituality, people such as Alan Watts and uh, Terence McKenna, etc., and Zachariah Sitchin, and well-known people, I don't can't remember everyone at the top of my head, say, no, you must do this, and then you must work with the Kundalini, and the Kundalini must come up into your spine, and then that is how you will enter the holy place of whatever Nirvana inside of you. You know, <clears throat> if you investigate a lot of these things, you start to realize that they are using these information pieces as false material to perpetuate an idea. If they want you to astral travel outside of your body, don't do that. Do it the other way around. Just do everything in reverse. If you're stuck, ask me. I swear to you, I will not judge you. I never do. Many of you who communicate with me know that. Or you can find some other person to tell you, someone who knows. But at this moment in place, I'm going to say that the information that is on this channel, on the Promethean channel, 
which was once Armed Heart, which belongs to myself, Aurora, just so that you know who I am, is the most accurate because the things are experienced and tested out. And so I, my findings are what they are. They are precise. And if there are mistakes, then I will say, okay, and I found this and this and that happened. Many of you know that as well. Nonetheless, everything that these malevolent beings have been perpetuating their religion has been based on the base level existence. It's not just that obvious. They've taken words from many people who are actually very spiritual and who've brought messages through in their own unique way. Even their works have been copied and pasted into a format so that those parasites could perpetuate the same information. And so what I will be doing and wanting to prepare you for is that I will be posting material on my Odyssey channel because Rumble is weird and I'm going to move away from there. Rumble, I feel, is dead in the water. And many of you know Odyssey in any case. And so you don't have to have an account, I think, to see it. Whereas with Rumble, I think you do, I'm not sure. But in any case, Odyssey is 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 uh, going to work in this case. Uh, less limitations, let me put it that way. And I'm going to be presenting to you some material that you would need to use your microscopes for. To discern in that way, because only then will you be able to understand how things are twisted and turned. It's literally like taking it's. I don't remember. I don't think you remember, or maybe some of you do, when they first introduced holograms on, on things, on toys, or on uh, to the public. They they printed out a holographic image on a on a piece of paper and then they want they then that was something that was quite remarkable i mean i think oh i think maybe some of it was on bank cards as well you could see the little bird on there or little dove you know Colum, colombia so spanish place of money to put it that simple and uh, I'm not going to go into there and so what I'm trying to say is is that the world as you know it as it is right now as you're hearing my message is world 3.0 it is a closed world its function is for souls and the capturing of souls. I've said it many years. Many, many years. We have transitioned from the second one to the third one in a year. It is too fast. Things have caught people off guard. And I suspect that the many those many of those that have passed on, that have died, have presented enough fuel for the third one to become manifested. How did it happen while you were sleeping? Let me put it that way. It happened with masses of powerful magic and while you were sleeping. And so the material that I will be presenting is based on more discernment, much more deeper while I'm wanting to remind you to hold on to the thread so that you can use that to always uh, measure and countermeasure what you hear from wherever. You need to work on your willpower. You need to retain who you are. You need to know who you are so that you are able to be sure 
of yourself. If you don't know who you are, then look at your actions and then correct them or make them stronger. Remember that you are a fire-branded spirit. Your DNA is very important, your physical DNA, but it is not the determination of where you're going. You are a whole being, a whole spirited being, and you are within the original creator, beyond this realm, this world, and its many layers of decor land. The thread of truth is the knowledge that you have within you, that you are connected within your spirit, and that you are connected by connecting with yourself within your spirit. You are able to have a communication with the original creator which is beyond this world and the original creator that is beyond this world and beyond all its other fake gods is spirit also and you taste yourself like a litmus test with the connection that you have with the original creator that is the most important thing to be mindful of that is the aspect that defines you and <clears throat> that is what will serve you well going through this world because the more you are connected with that original creator spirit presence your your father, your mother, whatever you want to call it, I don't give it names. We don't give it names. We don't give it any denomination. We don't give it any religious connotation. This is not a church. This is not a cult. None of this is part of that. This is a process that has been refined for many, many years within yourself and within this channel. I myself personally. So we have all worked on refining ourselves. We've refined ourselves within the nature of who we are and we've over we've changed that process of the nature. Once you work on yourself, it's very important to understand a few things here. When you want to clarify yourself. It means then that you take everything that is of what you know of who you are and you work on it by processing it. You think. You use your conscious thoughts of thinking. New Agers worship the consciousness, believe it or not. They worship that process of thinking. They also call that thinking uh, the, a god. Uh, it's just going to come out in the works that I'm going to be putting out on Odyssey. Um, the nature of the beast in this closed world, or world 3.0, is operating at full steam. And it will stay like this. My focus is on those of us who have the thread. And we will go through this process together. And uh, I just want you to, to know that um, I'm putting some material together to put onto Odyssey. And uh, I'll be sharing that there. Things that I won't be able to put onto YouTube at all. Because there's big um, issues with certain channels on YouTube that are parasitizing on the works so and I'll let you know when I've done it just so you know <clears throat> because those big those big beasts parasitic ticks um, that come onto my channel to come and scoop and harvest my works um, and use it against us 
that's what's been going on. It is possible to do that. You can take something from someone and you can weaponize it against that person. Um, so that does happen. And so, and I can feel it. And some of you can feel it as well. And so just keep it in mind that our process is internal. It always was, it always will be. There's no other way to do it. We are not gods. We don't want to be God. We don't want to be gods. We are not wanting to worship immortality. We don't want to worship the thoughts. We don't want to worship anything else. We do not worship anything. We are not in a warring ship. We are within an original creator's kindness, love, care, compassion. And that is those qualities are within us. And that is our journey. And we also acknowledge that people can reveal those qualities within one another. And that doesn't mean that there's one person that's going to be the savior like Jesus or Jesus, any of that, or Logos. But we do see and acknowledge those gifts within one another, those kindness, those aspects. That is what it is. It's not It's not science. It's not a church. It's not Scientology. It's none of that shit. It's not a cult. It's none of these things. It just is a process of experiencing the, the experience to get out and to function as sane as possible in this world without have it having to control us. World 3.0 is the closed system, whereas once upon a time we did function in a world that was there before, which was an open system, because we had an open communication with our original creator before many others came into place to try and take over the part, the role. It's kind of predictable. This species in this world has been very predictable. Sending you my love.